Hello everyone, I'm Michaela Kathleen and in this video I'm doing my March reading wrap up. I read three books in March starting with Murtag by Christopher Paolini. But I'm not going to talk about this one too much because I did a full reading vlog for this one that is going up in April, mid-April. So the short version for this one is that it's a chonker and doesn't need to be this big. A lot of it felt unnecessary and bloated and I really didn't enjoy the plot very much. The ending was very dissatisfying but I did enjoy the character arcs, the characters internal journeys. I liked where the characters ended up at the end even if I didn't like the plot side of the ending. And when it comes down to it, I just really enjoy being in Allegasia and I gave this one 3.5 stars. So after that I read Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. This one is a really old YouTuber book, I think like one of the first YouTuber books, if not the first, <laughs> but I never watched this YouTuber so I didn't have any sort of previous relationship with the book or the author. It's one that I just picked up I think out of a free little library because it looked cute and fun. And it was! It definitely read a bit on the young side, it definitely was pretty tropey, it goes really hard on the clumsy girl trope, and I would say it was like moderately well written. I don't have like super high standards or hopes for YouTuber books, so it was fine. It was very like a wish fulfillment type book, just the way things fell into place for this main character was crazy. But in that vein, this one is very insta-love, but it was actually like kind of a pretty believable insta-love. It was a decent, well done insta-love in my opinion. The most in annoying trope that it employed, or frustrating because the clumsy girl trope is pretty annoying, but the most frustrating one was the jealous best friend trope. Hi Bo! <laughs> Came in like a storm. <laughs> you want to lay over here? The main character's best friend gets jealous of her having a crush so fast and so for no reason. <laughs> and because it did rely so heavily on tropes, that made some of the twists pretty predictable. So spoiler alert for anyone who can't see obvious twists coming, <laughs> but we do have a very long awaited, stretched out, <laughs> the boy who she has a crush on is famous twist trope. <laughs> but I think the way it was executed was really nice and it was still enjoyable even though I saw it coming from pretty much the very beginning of the book. The him having a girlfriend edition was a nice touch and I did not see that one coming as much. <laughs> so overall just a fun light read. It's pretty predictable. It's pretty much exactly what you would expect with the caveat that it's actually not half bad. <laughs> I gave this one three stars. And then finally in March I read Queenie by Candace Carty Williams, which just has the most gorgeous cover. But the actual book I did not love. It just didn't really work for me personally. I felt like it was really repetitive, pretty slow. It's pitched as like a new Bridget Jones's diary, which I saw on Goodreads a lot of people really disagreeing with, but I have not watched or read Bridget Jones's diary so I have no idea if it's a good comparison or not. But the whole book I just felt like I kept waiting for either more to happen to progress the story forward or more backstory to show why our main character was behaving the way she was. A lot of her backstory is very much just implied but because the backstory is really implied and there aren't a lot of like story progressing events happening it just feels like the book is stagnant. <laughs> the end did pick up a bit when our main character started going to therapy, but it was a little bit too little too late for me. All that being said, the writing style was good, the writing was quality writing in my opinion. I just wish there had either been more going on or more backstory given. My favorite part of the book by far was her little group text chat with her girlfriends called the Corgis because our main character's name is Queenie and so they are her corgis. It takes place in Britain. <laughs> and yeah, the group chat with the gals was just always funny. So I was always happy when I saw that there was going to be a group chat with her friends happening. <laughs> wow, Bo, what are you doing? He's fiercely cleaning his paws. 
But that's it for all of the books I read in March. Watch out for the reading vlog for this one in mid-April. I hope you enjoyed watching. Remember, words matter.